Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, my name is Katarzyna Zysk. I'm professor, uh, head of research, and deputy director for uh, here at the IFS, Norwegian Institute for Defense Studies. And on behalf of the IFS, which is a part of the Norwegian Defense University College, uh, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to our seminar today on cyber defense. Our discussion today will focus in particular on how small countries in the Nordic region, such as Norway and the Baltic states, can successfully uh, defend themselves against uh, contemporary cyber threats. The seminar is organized by senior fellow and head of the Defense Planning Research Program here at IFS, Dr. Håkon Lunde Saxi, who will take over in a moment. Uh, the seminar is also a result of a cooperation uh, with the embassies of the three Baltic states here in Norway. And I would like to thank uh, for the outstanding collaboration that brought us uh, all here today, uh, the Embassy of Latvia, the Embassy of Lithuania, and uh, last but not least, the Embassy of Estonia, and in particular, Ambassador Jan Joesar Rusalu uh, for initiating this cooperation project last year. I would also like to thank Dr. Saxi for making this event uh, happen by successfully developing the initial idea into today's stimulating seminar program. Um, I'm delighted to see so many of you here today, over 160 participants with a full waiting list. And the interest reflects the growing importance of cyberspace to our world and to our defense. Developments in cyber domain have not only increased the complexity in the threat environment we are facing today, but they had added a, a fourth dimension to the traditionally three-dimensional format of warfare played uh, at land, sea, and in air. The new technology, unconstrained by traditional borders, by traditional front lines, able to reach anywhere with unprecedented speed, require innovative thinking and an innovative approach to defense, deterrence, and coercion. Cyber domain is already a feature in great power competition, influencing the balance of power between key actors, including the United States, China, Russia, all influential strategic players develop and deploy offensive cyber capabilities, giving priority to information dominance. Some of them, such as Russia, consider information dominance a decisive factor of, at all levels of contemporary conflict. At the same time, the accessibility of cyber domain has expanded the range of non-state hostile actors that are already today capable of deploying offensive, advanced cyber capabilities. And together with disruptive technologies, such as um, artificial intelligence, quantum computing, cyber capabilities are likely to change dynamics of crisis escalation in the future, potentially in fundamental ways. And these interconnected systems may, in perspective in the future, give an actor critical superiority. So we need a better understanding of these developments and a faster adaptation to these new realities to get the cyber defense right. And the IFS aims to contribute to that by developing research portfolio and stimulating discussions such as the one today um, on strategic and operation implications of this new domain, the new technologies, not least in terms of deterrence, alliance dynamics, strategic stability, and interstate competition. We are fortunate uh, to have with us today a team of Norwegian and international experts that will help us to better understand some of these new dynamics, and with a particular reference to small states in the Nordic Baltic region. So I wish you all an excellent seminar, and on that note, I'll leave the floor to Dr. Saxi, who will present our speakers today and who will present the thematic focus in each of the panels. Thank you. Håkon. Thank you, Katarzyna. Um, ladies and gentlemen, cyber to the defense is today firmly on the agenda in the transatlantic uh, security community. Cyber threats and attacks are becoming more common, sophisticated, and damaging every day making it a matter of top priority to enhance uh, and strengthen our de uh, the defense of our national cyber infrastructure and networks. Now, this is the second larger seminar as part of IFS's defense planning research program, 
which contributes to long-term planning in the Norwegian defense sector. Through both closed and open seminars, briefings, policy notes, as well as more in-depth research, the program aims to highlight and analyze pressing issues relevant for Norwegian defense planning. Now, long-term planning has to be seen in a broad national perspective, and this is arguably especially important in the realms of cyber. Neither the Norwegian Armed Forces nor the Norwegian defense sector will be able to defend Norway in the cyber domain or aid in the defense of our allies and partners without very close cooperation with the civilian sector. The civilian sector not only possesses much of the infrastructure that should be defended, but also much of the knowledge, competencies, and capabilities required to protect and safeguard this infrastructure. As such, the defense sector and the civilian sector has to work very closely together. Fortunately, in Norway, we have a long tradition um, of defense and the civilian sector working closely together for the purpose of national defense within our total defense concept. But how do we actually do total defense in the cyber domain? Who are responsible for protecting vital but privately owned infrastructure and information? How does one detect and counter attempts at cyber sabotage or espionage? And what about attempts at using cyber tools to influence our public discussions um, and decision making, national decision making? Is it a government responsibility to counter fake news on Facebook or Twitter? And if so, how should it be done? These are some of the many questions that today we'll have the opportunity to ask no less than six distinguished cyber experts. And let me just briefly take the time to present each of them in turn. Now, we have organized these experts into two panels with slightly different themes. The first panel deals with uh, cyber defense in general, with special emphasis on countering the overt use of cyber tools such as hacking or cyber espionage. First off, on this panel, we have Director Sven Sakov from the International Center for Defense and Security, the ICDS, in Estonia. Before joining ICDS, Sven served two years as uh, the Director of NATO Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence, a multinational hub, hub of uh, cyber defense expertise based in Estonia. Secondly, we have Professor Olav Lysne from the University of Oslo. Now, Professor Lysne is probably most famous in Norway for having uh, chaired no less than two government inquiries into how to strengthen readiness and reduce digital vulnerability in Norway. So we're very much looking forward to getting an update on the recommendations made by these inquiries. Thirdly, we have Bente Hoff, who serves as Director of Cybersecurity at the National Security Authority, NSM. Bente will give us a practitioner's perspective on how to build resilience detect and counter cyber attacks. Um, the second panel um, deals with digital influence operations, namely the use of cyber tools to affect the perceptions of Western societies. First out on the second panel, we have Director Jed Willard from the Franklin Delano Roosevelt Foundation at Harvard University. Jed works on public diplomacy, influence operations, and disinformation, and he is, I think, uh, con uh, uh, convinced that we are doing at least some things right in the Nordic Baltic region when it comes to dealing with this information. Secondly, we have Jonas Gardiskas, who serves as Director of Cybersecurity and IT Department at the Lithuanian Ministry of National Defense. He will provide us with a Baltic perspective on the di uh, digital disinformation challenge. Last but not least, we have Branch Chief Marco Mantila from NATO Strategic Communications Center of Excellence, STRATCOM, in Latvia. Before this, he was the, uh, the Director General of Government Communications at the Finnish Prime Minister's Office, where he had to contend with Russian propaganda and influence operations. Now, each of these highly qualified experts will do a 15-minute presentation, after which there will be a 15-minute <coughs> panel discussion. In between the two panels, there will be a 15-minute coffee break, so that we'll all have the opportunity to stretch our legs and clear our minds. And these panel discussions will be moderated respectively by senior advisor Bjorn Svenungsen, who is presently IFS's in-house cyber expert on a loan from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, and uh, senior fellow Hanna Röslian from the Norwegian Cyber Defense Force. Now, during the panel discussion, you are encouraged to ask tough and provocative questions from these highly competent experts. But first, without further ado, let's uh, kick off with the first panel. Director Svensakov, the floor is yours.